Well, before I get started on this video, Chris is helping me get the top of this hutch situated because as you know, the last time I tried to do this, I ended up pulling the hutch practically down on top of myself. So Chris is helping me get this uh, things just in place, pushing things around, lifting up that light on the back there to be a little higher and so on. And I'll tell you more about what's up there uh, in a minute. But uh, Chris has got a topiary here that I made several years ago. And I just wanted to show it to you closer up. And I think I can give you a link to where I made this. So he's gonna put that right behind that finial there and that's where it will sit. So I'll be right back. everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is I'm going to be decorating my Pretty in Pink Hutch. And I'll tell you why I call it my Pretty in Pink Hutch here in a few minutes. And I'm going to be sharing with you a Marshalls Hall. I ran in there this morning uh, because I saw Liz haul some really pretty things from Marshalls yesterday in her video. And I just was going to check for uh, one of the candle holders that she found. Well, I didn't find it, but I found other stuff. So I wanna haul that stuff for you. And that will literally probably be the last uh, store I go into uh, before I go to be with my dad i'm about 10 days out from his surgery and i don't want to take any chances so uh that'll this will probably be my last haul unless i've got stuff coming from amazon which is always possible <laughs> uh, but anyway let me tell you a little bit about this hutch let me put my my camera up here a little bit again i've got my big light ring so just please you know bear with me here uh this hutch was my grandmother's my mom's mom's and this is she is the one that passed a lot of furniture down to me. I have this hutch. I have a secretary that you'll see next week. And I have a little coffee table uh, that she handed down to me. And I also used to have a four poster bed. Well, it finally, finally, finally bit the dust a few years ago. So, uh, but anyway, regardless, we are going to be working on this hutch. Uh, she used to keep Fostoria crystal in here all the time. She had a beautiful, beautiful set of Fostoria crystal. And that's what she kept in here. And I actually have that Fostoria and I've boxed it up and put it away. Let me put my camera back down here for a second. I boxed it up and, and I put it away for a while because I wanted to decorate the inside of the hutch. And I've done the same with my big dining room hutch. I, and I did the same with the secretary. I pretty much had in this hutch and in that secretary what she used to keep in there for years and years and years. And then what my mom had in the secretary. And my mom kept the Fostoria in here too. And I finally just took it out, you guys, because I never use the Fostoria. It's very dressy. I may use it sometime if I want to put on a big, very fancy formal shindig. I don't know. I still have it. So it is available. But uh, in my everyday life and in for the holidays that we celebrate now, I don't use that. So I wanted to be able to have something else to decorate, to bring in the seasons, if you will. So that's what I did with my hut, two hutches and my secretary. So what I'm going to do in here today is just literally add a few things. And that is it, just to bring in the fall. Now, you see that Madame Alexander doll sitting right there? That is the Glenda doll. One of you guys uh, gave me all the info about her uh, several years ago. Uh, and that is, and she has a very pretty blush pink dress. I'll pull her up closer to you when we get into the hutch and show her to you. She was my mom's doll. And she is beautiful. She's very, very old. And I wanted to pay homage to my mom and my grandma, of course, by using her hutch, but also to my mom. I'm not a big doll person necessarily, but I do love her and I like to have her displayed. So there she is, Glenda, the good witch. 
<laughs> and, and, you know, Madam Alexander came out with her. So, and that is what this whole hutch is centered around, her blush pink dress. I also add gold in here sometimes just for a touch of a uh, little bit of glam. A little bit again, here we go with some more rusty glam. But I do this hutch in this blush pink and gold or silver or another accent color throughout the year. It stays in the blush pink even for Christmas. I even have this blush pink for Christmas. So this is fun for me to do. I'm a girly girl for sure at heart and I love working with pink. So this is, to me, this is just like a little corner that I can really have a little bit of fun. I can really make nice and whimsy. You know, I love this place. So, plus it's very sentimental to me. And I know uh, once I've, since I've gotten on this side of the house, I'm talking more about family. I'm talking about more, more about sentimentality. I'm talking about uh, sharing with you guys, you know, what has been passed down to me, what things are special to me. I hope that that is getting, helping those of you who have just joined me on my channel to get to know me and where my heart is all the time. And that is with my family, my family of the past and of the present, both. And I am, feel so humbled and blessed that my grandma chose me to hand these things down to. Well, I had to wait for the secretary, bless my mom's heart. She said, uh, because <laughs> I had told my grandma, I said, oh, maybe one day I'll have that secretary. Mom said, no, -uh, not before I have it, you know, and we were just kidding. But, you know, things like that come to fruition, you guys, you know, and it's sad, sad to say, you know, and I miss my grandma and I miss my mom and all those who have passed before us so much. But I feel like I have just a little touch of them as I work with this hutch and as I work with my mom's doll and as I build a whole a whole decor around my mom's doll. So I feel like she's looking down and saying, wow, Arlen, that's pretty. Thanks for doing that, honey. You know, I can just hear her saying that. I can just hear her saying that. So anyway, let me get my camera situated uh, and, and get myself turned around. You're gonna be looking at the back of me probably uh, or my just my arms while I go ahead and decorate this. And I am going to tell you about the top though before I sit back down and do this uh, hutch. So I have to turn off. So I will be right back in just two shakes of a lamb's tail. Okie dokie, first before I get started on the inside, I wanted to show you the top. And uh, I did not decorate this on camera because as I mentioned a little while ago, I really did almost pull this thing down on top of my head <laughs> a couple of times back. So I really didn't do much up there. I left, I have some pink, a pink vase up there. My sweet mother-in-law gave me this beautiful little angel and then that angel blowing the trumpet. And they are collector's items. I've had the uh, angels, I got those from Hobby Lobby several years ago. You'll see them again on the little shelves at Christmas time. And I got that little light up there. Uh, it's in my Amazon shop. And then I just have some pink candles and a big brass um, vase there, you can see. And then I just have <laughs> my grandmother's, what is that, a Brandy's, what is that called? A, uh, I can't think of what that's called. But anyway, I have pink colored water in there because we don't really drink, so. <laughs> Uh, but there is the topiary that I made right there, center stage, and I think it looks super pretty up there. All right, I'll be right back, and we'll start decorating up just a little bit. I just have a few things in a basket down there that we're going to incorporate into this little hutch. Okie dokie, I'm All back. Right, be right back. And I'm going to haul something right now that I need to haul right now that I got this morning at Marshall's, and it was, I've got the tag here, $7.99. And it is this really pretty blush pink pumpkin. It is crocheted. It looks like it's a crocheted pumpkin with kind of a gold stem. Isn't that pretty? I had to stand up here for a second. So I think I'm just going to set this in here, kind of set it up just like that in the back. We do have uh, tape lights, LED lights, warm white lights that Chris has put in to this hutch. So each shelf, has just a set of those little tape lights. I do believe I might have them linked in my Amazon store too. Then I'm going to put this little gold pumpkin 
I've had this, got this from Big Lots several years ago though. And it is a pretty gold pumpkin. I'm just gonna set that right kind of, kind of off center a little bit and tilted just a little bit on that pink, that pink pumpkin. I wanted to show you this. This is a Jim Shore piece that I got not long ago, but isn't that pretty with the Cardinals? I do think I have that linked in my Amazon shop too. And sweet Lisa Sigardia, one of my subscribers that a lot of you know, gave me three beautiful pieces in here. This angel, this pear, isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness, you guys. And this beautiful, pumpkin. Isn't that pretty? So you can see here I had a Ziploc bag in one of my bins and it says Mooney's Hutch and it just had some leaves in it. These leaves are actually the same color as the leaves are over here in my uh, big arrangement here. So I think I would just like to very simply some leaves right there maybe coming out this side a little bit that's it just a touch all right and I think that'll do it for that shelf now let's move down to the middle shelf here move you back straight on And here is this doll. She has her little crown. And isn't she pretty? She's got her wand over here. So she's very pretty and she does bend and sit. I found the pink plates at Hobby Lobby on deep sale a few years ago. And uh, this is just a Hobby Lobby piece, just a bird, like a concrete bird. And then that, this piece over here is also Jim Shore with, and matches kind of the Cardinals. And then I also got this piece kind of to go with the other two. So again, Jim Shore, faithful friend she's called with her little dog. All three of those pieces are linked in my Amazon storefront box, Jib Shore box. Then this is a little um, Boyd's Bear, the Folkstone Collection. The moving moon went up to the sky and nowhere did abide. Softly she was going up and a star or two beside. So that's her. And all I have to add here is literally just a pink pumpkin. So I think I just want to snug that up. Got it right in there. And I have a pick that I made with a cream pumpkin. That I may like to add like back here. Okay. Then, so that's all I'm going to do for that shelf. That's it. I do have one more cream pumpkin. Um, and I got this from, I'm not even sure where. But it's very heavy and sturdy and old. <laughs> so I think I'm going to set that right in front of this little lady. Move to the side, right like that. These are just napkins, old napkins that I've had for years and years that I folded up, kind of triple folded and put them down when I first did this. I'm gonna leave the picture up there on the top. I like it just the way it is. Okay, and now let's move down to this shelf. And you can see I do have a bunny. I have a bunny up top and I have a bunny down here. Well, bunnies are around out and around here all the time. So I'm leaving the bunnies in and they're kind of 
like a cream neutral. So I'm just going to leave them there. Here is another Boyd's Bear Angel that uh, Chris's cousin Donna, and she was the maid of honor in our wedding, gave to one to me, one to Candace, and one to Kristen when her mama passed away. So this is where mine sits right in here. And I have uh, Candace's around too somewhere. But this one is going to stay right here with me. And then this is another Boyd Spare, Let It Snow. And then just a little vase of flowers there in that corner and a candle. And this ship uh, my mother-in-law gave me too, this beautiful crystal ship. Actually, she gave it to Chris. So. And I think I just have one more pink pumpkin. And I think I want to move this little lady over here and just set the pink pumpkin kind of up this way. And you can see the leaves up there. I think I'll put the leaves over here, a little bit of leaves over here. Have another little white pumpkin, put that there. And fill in with some leaves here. friends will be that about this I think I'd rather have him back in the corner and have her like this there we go love it I think it's super super pretty that'll be it for this I will take a last video or some still pictures for you guys and uh, then I'm gonna meet you out at the kitchen island and we're gonna do a little bit of a Marshall's haul <laughs> all right be right back here I am I'm back over here at my kitchen island well I'm really happy with how that hutch turned out I got back from it I took that little video I took some pictures of it and it turned out really pretty it turned out really pretty uh, all I bought was that one pumpkin uh, that I showed you for that all the rest of that stuff I had used last year or in previous years uh, mostly all the pink you saw in there was definitely used only used in that place uh, for fall anyway. I did do a pink Easter one time that I have some pink decor, you know, I added pink in. Danielle had given me that idea one year. So I did do that once for Easter, but, and boy, I did enjoy that. I did enjoy using the pink in, mixed in with the regular Easter colors, but pink being the major color, you know, that was really pretty. So I do have a smallish haul from Marshalls. I am telling you, I had not been in Marshalls to look at their fall decor at all. And boy, howdy, did I ever hit the jackpot on a couple of things here. Now, the only thing I have left to decorate is my foyer and then the living room. So some of this may not get put out this year. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I can fit all this stuff in. <laughs> 
it's not that much, but it is a thing or two. First thing I wanted to show you was I got to the register and uh, she was wrapping up a bunch of this stuff. And I looked over and I saw these really, you know, these reusable bags. And I thought, wow, how pretty are these? As you can see, they were, what is it, 99 cents? Yeah, 99 cents. So I bought two of them and they had a whole line of fall themed bags like this in Marshall. And I use these all the time. In fact, I give these to my kids. If they've been here visiting, they need to take, if we've gotten them gifts or something, they need to take them home. We're sending home food with them, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, I, I keep these around all the time and grab them out of the closet all the time. I'm gonna be using these two to, I'm taking, uh, <laughs> some stuff up to my dad's. I'm taking a Keurig uh, maker, one of our old Keurigs up there because my dad doesn't have a Keurig. So I think I'm gonna take one of those so I can make my tea. And uh, I'm taking him chili in a crock pot though. That won't go in one of these bags, but I'm taking some other stuff, you know, that I will utilize these spiffy bags for. So that's why I went ahead and had her just wrap up my stuff in these, and I carried them out in these bags. And they're nice and sturdy and big. You can see they're big. So I love these. So I just, I wanted to tout those bags a little bit because I use them for so many things, so many different things. So, okay, uh, I, I'm telling you, everywhere you looked in Marshalls, there were kiosks full of fall stuff. And they had all different colors. They had blacks, of course, for Halloween, a lot of that. They had pink, they had gray, they had, you know, your traditional colors, and they had blue. They had one little end cap that was nothing but blue. And I just, and I walked right back, like right through the clothes, you know how it is, right to the back, and boy howdy, I stopped and went, uh, um, uh, oh, because I came in looking for, like I said, the one leaf uh, candle holder that Liz showed yesterday that was gold. I never did come across that, but I did come across a bunch of other stuff. So first thing I saw was this pumpkin balsam soy blended candle. And um, I like I need any more candles, I just bought a bunch. But I love this. I bought this more for the container than I did the candle because I just thought that was so pretty. Look at the blue. And then with the muted colored uh, pumpkins on it. And it does smell good. Mm, it smells really good. It's, here, smell. <laughs> I'm such a dang bat sometimes. Anyway, it smells really good. Then it also has pumpkins on the top and it's a gold top. So when I looked at this thing, I was like, oh man, I cannot pass that up. It's got blue, it's got muted muted colors. It's got a gold top that I've been incorporating gold everywhere. You know, I gotta get this. So I picked it up and it was, you know, some tags are smaller than others. Some I can see. And some I can kind of see and some I cannot see for this big old this candle. Seven. And it's, what is it, three wick or two wick? It's a three wick candle, y'all. $7.99. Then uh, they had a, a cart out with some Ray Dunn on it. And it was just cups. They just uh, had cups. So they, they did have Ray Dunn spattered about, you know, in the in all the little design, in all the little, you know, vignettes. I love how they do it in there because they do give somebody who might need some ideas, you know, ways to put things together. They do a really good job of styling their, their seasonal stuff in there, all their stuff in there. So anyway, I found this fall, y'all. <laughs> so I got this, it was $5.99. And I do love my, you know, my Ray Dunn cups. I drink out of my, you can see out my tea, my Be The Light cup, you know, that's what I've been drinking out of since I got this cup. Um, one of you guys got me a grandma cup, so I drink out of that too. And then now I'll drink out of this fall, y'all. <laughs> so I love this. So I got this. And I got just about four more things here. Uh, this little pumpkin, which is super pretty. And it's just the blue that I like. And it does light up. It has like little fairy lights in there. So I thought that was really pretty. And this was $12.99. Isn't that pretty? Super pretty. 
I got that. And then I got another one that lights up. And this one, I'm gonna wait till I light it to show it. I'm gonna wait to turn it on to show you the, look at the two-tone. It's like an ombre look. And then look at the gold stem. Could this have been many more? And it, this is actually the first thing I picked up. I was like, could this be any more perfect? Then I found the candle and then I found the other things. I'm like, this is, this is crazy. I was meant to be that I come in here today. This was only $14.99. Now that's a good price for something like this, you guys. It really is. And it takes two AA batteries, and, or excuse me, two AAA batteries, and it lights up. But isn't that pretty? I'm thinking this may go on my silver tray. That was my mom's. Or I may do something a little different, although I don't really want to put away my mom's silver tray. Anyway, I'll show you. Okay, one more pumpkin. <laughs> and y'all saw the, the pink pumpkin I had and put in the hutch out there. This is a blue one with a gold stem, and this one was $9.99. Look at this. So soft, so pretty, and then with the, with the gold stem. And it's kind of a chambray, chambray blue. It's not really a cobalt blue, and it's not a navy blue. It could be a navy blue. But uh, I think this is super pretty. I have no clue where it's going to go, y'all. You'll just have to see it whenever it arrives. <laughs> so, but I thought it was pretty. Blue pumpkin. So those will all be taken. I, what I did yesterday, well, wait, let me finish. I'll tell you what I did yesterday. And then I got this one more thing. And I have been looking for this everywhere. I've been looking on Amazon, I've been looking in other stores, at Home Goods, at Hobby Lobby, at Michaels, I've been at At Home. Uh, I really peruse through At Home because they have a lot of trays. I've been looking for a copper tray. Now, I have no place in mind that I want to use this necessarily right now, but I just want a copper tray. I just thought it was super, I just think they're super pretty. And, and it's, this is a hammered copper tray. Isn't that pretty? It's got the same design inside of it too. I just thought this was a nice sturdy handles and this is not lightweight. It is a heavy, you know, pretty pretty good weight tray. And this cost $20, $19.99. Again, I have no idea where this will go. Uh, even, I might put it on the wall somewhere. I might just put it in this plate hanger over over my ivy table one time, or it might go I, up, but I just think it's really pretty and reflective, and wouldn't it make a pretty tray design too? I just love it. I just had a hankering for a copper tray. I've never really had a copper tray, so I thought it was really pretty, so that's, that's what I got, and that's all I got. That's all I got, but <laughs> I feel like I hit pay dirt in a way because I haven't been buying a ton of stuff only what really meets my fancy and all of this stuff and more actually met my fancy, but I stopped myself. I said, no, 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 no. We don't need to buy, you know, everything that you see, Arlen. <laughs> so I actually did hold myself back a little bit. So let me go ahead and tell you about next week's videos. Uh, Monday, I believe, will be the foyer. And then Wednesday, I believe, will be, you know, I have that little plant stand tricycle kind of little thing. They have to do something with that. And then Friday's video, which will be my last video before I go to be with my dad after his surgery, you know, will be the rest of the living room, all the little vignettes. It'll be the, you know, the half moon table. It'll be the table and the two tiered tray that I have sitting in the, you know, in the bay window. It'll be the secretary. It'll be, you know, the uh coffee table little tray design i'm going to finish everything else i may do the coffee table and the bike on the same day just to give a little bit more into that video but then friday i'll finish everything else up so that the inside of the house will be completely finished you know as i go to my dad's so and then when i return then my my, my channel will probably go quiet unless stacy and i have time to get together stacy is my first cousin who's very crafty too who lives in the same town that my dad does, unless we can, you know, pull a video out for you guys. But I'm not sure about that, and I can't promise that, you guys, because I just don't know, you know, what's going to be coming at us. So, uh, but anyway, that's my plan for next week. So what I did yesterday is I have 
everything else put away except for what I know I'm going to use in the foyer and in the living room vignettes and in the foyer, whatever I do in there. Everything else I put away. Now this, this stuff will be added to that stuff in the living room, but I feel so much better that I got so organized. My knee is markedly, should I even say it out loud? <laughs> markedly better. Uh, I am recovering quicker and quicker each day as each day passes. And I have been very careful, but I'm doing much better. So I am very grateful. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for all your prayers, you guys, for, for my knee. Continue them if you wouldn't mind, please. <laughs> uh, just because I, I really need for my knee to be in good shape. And it is much, like I said, markedly better. I was zipping around Marshall's today zip it around in there. And I was like, oh, Arlen, you better slow down. You know, you got this knee thing that might, you know, you don't want it to go anywhere or do anything, but uh, it feels much better. I am so grateful. I am so, 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 so grateful for that. Anyway, let me get my uh, computer out here and make sure I don't have any questions since it is Friday. So let me check. I did not this morning. Actually, I didn't have a lot of time to check this morning because there's a lot of stuff going on with the CDC and cruising and the updates and stuff. And I spent my whole morning in the group that I, one of the groups that I admin in the Alaska Cruises with Princess group. I spent all morning in there policing and putting up an admin note and, and answering questions. So I actually did not check my YouTube, you guys, to see if I have any questions. So let me check now. I do not have a, a new one. I do not have any new ones. So there we go. All right. So I guess that's going to be it for this one, you guys. I have no idea how long this video is. Hopefully it's not too long for you guys. <laughs> uh, let me say that I hope that you get a chance to see uh, your loved ones this weekend, maybe. Or if you don't get a chance to see them, I hope you get a chance to talk, th talk with them over FaceTime or just on the phone. Um, but whenever you leave them, whenever you say goodbye on the phone or whenever you leave their presence, hug them and tell them you love them because you just never know what tomorrow will bring, right? So I hope you have some good plans for this weekend. Chris and I really don't. Uh, we're just gonna be here at the house and hanging out with one another and I'm gonna be staying out of stores and we're just gonna hang out here. Probably we'll continue to go out to lunch to our regular places. We won't go anywhere new. You know, just to our regular places and sit by ourselves like we always do. And, you know, I will be being very, very careful uh, from now until I go to my dad's. So, all right. All right. So, I do have some mischief with Maverick today. Wait, do you see the boy's hair? <laughs> His hair is thickening up and just doing some crazy stuff when he gets up in the morning. So, Candace is taking some crazy hair pictures. So, I've got some of those and I think I've got a few others to share with you. <laughs> Boy, do I miss him. <laughs> but again, staying away from everybody until, you know, I get my dad through this surgery and until he's recovering well. So we will get through it. You know, we will all get through it. So with all that said, please take a moment to subscribe if you haven't. I would be so humbled and grateful for your subscription. It doesn't cost anything. It is free to subscribe. Uh, and if you do subscribe, go ahead and hit the bell uh, that you see next to the subscribe button where you click that and hit the bell and then click all. And that way you'll get a notification whenever I put a video up so you never miss a video. Thank you guys so much in advance for that. I really appreciate it. My numbers have been clicking up uh, pretty regularly and I really appreciate you joining me and welcome to all of you who have joined uh, regarding my answering or, or, or responding to questions, there was a time when I first started YouTube that I was able to respond to everybody. But now, unfortunately, I just can't. I don't have the time. It, it was taking up three to four hours, three to four to five hours a day to respond to everybody. And I finally just had to say, oh, I, I've got to draw the line <laughs> somewhere. So I don't necessarily respond. Sometimes I'll answer a question uh, or respond to you know, a statement of some sort, but usually I will click the heart. And when you see the heart show up underneath your comment, you know that I've read it and you know that I've taken it to my heart of hearts. And I appreciate every comment. I appreciate every single one of you. And with all that said, I'm going to go into my final words. 
Uh, I've had a lot of subscribers lately. For those of you who don't know where my final words came from, I'll tell you. I was uh, trying to close out my video one day. <laughs> and as you can tell, I talk a lot and I just kind of ramble on. And I, that's what I was doing that day. And I was going, Lord, I kind of just, you know, I, I, I need to find a way to close my videos, you know. Well, I swear to goodness, you guys, sure as I'm sitting here, it was like there was a chalkboard behind the camera and I started to be able to read these words. And I know they were a gift. And they were a gift for me, yes, but they were a gift for me to give to you or to whomever needs to hear them. So here we go. I hope all is well with everyone. And for those of you who may be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. I'll see you Monday. Y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.